The port town of Minami San Rico on Japan's northeastern coast is nearly wiped out, and in the area near there, authorities now fear 10,000 people may be dead. When the ominous Black Sea attacked this island nation Friday, it left behind a massive trail of destruction that is getting worse by the hour. An oil refinery in the quake zone is simply being left to burn down. There's nobody to fight the fire. Entire towns are flattened, others still smoldering. Most roads in coastal areas now useless. Nothing, not cars, not boats, is where it should be. This woman at one of dozens of makeshift shelters said, My home is gone completely, and it's dangerous to go back there. Yet people are being saved. These three pulled from a car. They had been stuck for more than 20 hours. This 60-year-old man was found clinging to what was left of his roof. He had been floating nine miles out to sea for two days. Some barely cheated death. This man jumped in a cab telling the driver to outrun the oncoming tsunami. He wanted to stop at stop signs and, and I just kept yelling, go, you don't have to stop, don't worry, just go, go, go. All along the coast, conditions in cities and towns are becoming dire. 1.4 million households are without water, 2 million without power, food and gasoline are running out. The Prime Minister is now calling this Japan's biggest crisis since World War II, but he is still optimistic, saying, I'm very confident that the Japanese people will come together and overcome this difficulty. It will take sacrifice. The government is now rationing electricity. Rolling blackouts begin tomorrow, including in Tokyo. Also here in Tokyo today, the stock market is expected to reopen for the first time since the quake hit. Now, once it does, it is widely expected to plummet, and that will be a blow to an economy here in Japan that was fragile even before this disaster. Russ? Ben Tracy in Tokyo. Thank you.